Hi, this is Mike Simmons of WPHowTos.com, and in this video I'm going to show you how to move the header image of the WordPress 2012 theme from displaying abo uh, below the navigation menu to displaying above the navigation menu. Or you could say that I'm going to show you how to move the navigation menu below the header image. Same, same thing. The first thing we need to do is to log into our cPanel of our site and cPanel is short for control panel and if you signed up for HostGator you'll have an email that you received when you signed up that'll have your control panel link and your control panel password or your cPanel link and cPanel password if you didn't sign up for HostGator yet you most likely have that information in an email or something that you received from your hosting company so to get to your cPanel you'll click on that link in your email or you can also just type in your domain name and a forward slash cPanel once you get to cPanel, you'll go down to the third section, Files, and click on File Manager. And then we'll just click on Go when we have the button, the Web Root. So we want to go to our Web Root. And then we're going to find the WP Content folder and double click on that. And we'll find the Themes folder or directory and double click on that. One thing I should mention that's really important, and it, well, it'll save you a lot of hard work for nothing if you install a child theme. If you don't have a child theme installed and you do some customizations and then when your theme updates which by the way the 2012 theme just recently updated at the time of this video you're going to lose all those customizations. Making a child theme is really easy and I have a video that shows you how to do that and I'll put an annotation with a link that you can go to and watch the video first and make your child theme before you do any customization. But anyway, we're right here and we're using our 2012 theme is our parent theme. So we're going to click on that folder first. Oh, I forgot to mention. Take note of what your, tw your child theme folder is called. Mine is 2012 with no space in between the 20 and the 12. And then a dash or hyphen and then child. So we want to take note of that. So I'm going to go back to the parent theme, which is the 2012 theme folder. We're going to scroll down until we find the file called header.php. Now we're going to right click and we're going to click on copy. Now I know you notice where it says type the path you wish to copy. Now this is the what we're going to copy and this is what we're, what we're going to copy to, the folder we're going to copy to. And we want to just, uh, we want to make sure that we're copying to our child theme folder. Okay, now I'm just going to click on copy files. Now I'm going to click on up one level again and now I'm going to double click on 2012 child which is my child theme. Double click on this and then now you notice we have a header PHP file in our child theme folder which is what we want. But now the easiest way to do what we're going to do is to go back to your WordPress dashboard and your dashboard of course is your domain name forward slash WP admin and then you log in and that's the login you made when you installed WordPress. So once you're in your dashboard hover over appearance and you're going to see something called editor down at the bottom. Mine is theme editor because I installed a plugin called WP editor but I'll click on theme editor you'll probably just click on editor unless you install a WP editor plugin and by default it'll take you to whatever theme is uh, is activated for your website which mine is the 2012 child and you'll notice it shows the style.css by default but we want to show the header.php and here we go now the, the the great thing about having a child theme and doing all these changes if you do mess up you're not going to really uh, hurt too much because you can always go back and do it again if you uh, mess up your main folders or your you know of your main parent theme then it's a little bit more work to fix it so a child theme is really a, the best way to go guys so once we're in our, our header.php file where I'm just going to scroll to the bottom right here where it says down at the very bottom it says header masthead we don't want any we want to move this section of code right here from right above the header masthead I'm going to highlight this all the way till it goes up to uh, this section right here which is the header image equals get header image right below the nav site navigation so I'm going to go ahead and cut this 
And now just right, right here where it says H group, I'm going to put the cursor and then I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to hit enter twice to make a space so it'll show up. Then I'm going to paste in the content that we just cut. Okay. Now I'm going to click update file or you'll click save or update or whatever it shows for you. Now I'm going to go back to our website and click reload the tab. And voila, there we go. Our navigation menu is below the header or the header image is above the navigation menu. All right, that video got kind of cut off, so I'm going to have to finish with this clip right here. Now we've got our navigation menu below our header image of the 2012 theme. Now there's a lot of other things you can do. In fact, I've got a few other videos on customizing the 2012 theme. One's going to be about adding a custom logo. In fact, you can have a logo instead of your header image or uh, with your header image also if you'd like. You could have an image right here and then your logo or you can also replace your header image completely with a really big logo that stretches across the screen on the 2012 theme. And I'm also going to show you how to center this navigation menu font text if you'd like, change the font color of the navigation menu font, and change the background color of this navigation menu. So if you did find this video helpful, I sure would appreciate a thumbs up and a favorite and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to get see more new videos as I have them and as always keep on keeping on